Well, let's talk to Marcus Plescher. He's Chief Medical Officer of the Association of State and Territorial Health Officials. He joins us via Skype from Charlotte in North Carolina. Marcus, uh, the US uh, has now has more confirmed cases of the virus than any other country, over 100,000 infections. Are these numbers telling us that the US is currently failing in its testing and containment strategy? And if so, why? Well, uh, we've had some challenges with the testing and containment strategy up to now, but I think what we're seeing is what we what we expected is, is an international outbreak of a novel infection, and it's spreading across the world, and it's here in the United States now, and we've made attempts to contain it, but we've moved now to a, a point which we call community mitigation, which we're really trying to control the spread in the communities across the United States, and that's, that's the situation that we're in now. Uh, Marcus, we've seen growing tensions, though, between state governors on the one hand and the federal government on the other. Is that tension getting in the way of what medical professionals like you are trying to do on the ground? Well, the United States has a public health system that is based on the activities and jurisdiction of state governments, and so that's what you're seeing uh, fall into place now. And, and I think that system has worked well in the past. And I think that a, as we watch, state governments are stepping up. They, they have the capacity, they have the expertise to do what's necessary to intervene with this situation. Um, you know, at the same time, they're working closely with the federal government. And that, that's what's going to need to happen going forward. And, and frankly, that, that has been happening so far. And that's a good thing. Well, um... Many state governors would perhaps disagree with you, Marcus, but many health professionals are saying the lack of medical supplies in the U.S., and in their words, is a national shame. I mean, President Trump has now invoked the Defense Procurement Act, which forces companies like GM uh, to make ventilators for the federal government. But is this too little too late, do you think? Well, I, I agree. The, the issue that we're having with protective equipment for health professionals is a, a major problem, and it, it, we, we have to overcome that. Um, you know, uh, we, we're doing everything we can in the United States to increase manufacturing of this equipment. We, we do have a strategic national stockpile. We have a, a supply of various medical equipment that's kept in reserve for a situation like that. That stockpile has now been opened up, and it's being disseminated out to the places that are the most in need. So there, there, is, there is the potential for some increased uh, equipment in those areas, but we're, we're really counting on more supplies to come in from manufacturers and other sources. I mean, this is, this, this is okay. probably the greatest thing facing us. Mark, um, Marcus, just a final point to you. Uh, we're now hearing that the U.S. State Department is looking to hire medical staff from abroad. But let me ask you, is this likely to help or hinder the U.S. medical response on the ground, do you think? No, I think this would be a huge help. I mean, we, we have hundreds and thousands of uh, foreign trained physicians who presently work in the United States and do a fantastic job. And I, I think that the new State Department uh, openings really are intended to look for opportunities for other, other well-trained physicians across the world who are willing to come and, and work in the United States to uh, have the opportunity to be able to do that. Um, Marcus, I'm going to squeeze in one more question because we've got time. Um, can you just give us an update on what's happening uh, in U.S. hospitals generally at the moment? Well, the hospitals that we're most concerned about are the hospitals in New York City. Uh, that's where we have the greatest number of people who are being infected by the uh, coronavirus. And, you know, we're seeing those hospitals become very, very busy. We're seeing areas of New York City that are reaching capacity. Um, and we're all very, very concerned about that. I mean, the hope is that some of the social distancing interventions that have been made in New York City that are very aggressive will start to take effect. Um, we also, you know, we have an excellent workforce in New York City. We have excellent hospitals there. We have an excellent public health system. We have a community of people who are tough. Uh, and so we're hoping that the, those things will help to counter what we see is the potential for a huge increase in cases and for many hospitals to become very crowded and very taxed at this point. All right, Marcus, pleasure. We have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with Al Jazeera. Thank you.
Thank you.